here from One Sharp Bunch. Today I'm going to show you step-by-step -step directions on how I created my end of the year classroom video using Windows Movie Maker. First, you will want to open Windows Movie Maker. Then you can insert pictures by clicking on the Add Videos and Photos button under the Home tab. Next, you will choose the location where your pictures are stored. If I wanted to insert all of the pictures that are in this file, I could select the first picture, hold the shift key, and scroll down to the bottom and select the last picture, and it would insert all of the pictures that are highlighted in blue in this folder. If I wanted to insert only some of the pictures, I could select the picture and hold the control key, and that will allow me to choose other pictures that are in the folder, but not in, that are not in order. I'm going to go ahead and select all of the pictures in this folder except for the first picture. I will insert that one later in the demonstration. Once I have these pictures inserted into Movie Maker, I can go ahead and I can click on a picture and drag it to a new location if I'd like to rearrange the order that the pictures appear in. Once I have all of the pictures in the desired location where I would like them to appear, I can go ahead and I can change the animations of each picture by selecting the picture. I can hold shift and I can select all of the pictures at one time. I can go to the animations tab or I can use these auto movie themes that are already pre-stored here in Windows Movie Maker. I'm actually going to go to the animations tab and I am going to um, select the auto pan and zoom button. I can also add transitions under this tab to each of the pictures. If I wanted to add it to all of the pictures, then I would go ahead and select the first picture, hold shift and select the last picture, and it will put a blue box around each of these pictures. If I only wanted to add that transition to one of the pictures, I could select that picture and under the animations tab, I could go ahead and I could select the animation that I would like. And you can see a preview there off to the left. I'm going to leave each of my pictures with the auto pan and zoom feature. You can see that there's a little grid in the corner of each of these pictures showing that it's going to automatically pan and zoom in for those pictures in the slideshow. After studying the anima animation of each picture, I went back and I adjusted the duration that each picture appears in the slideshow. I went ahead and I selected the first picture. I hold down shift to select all of the pictures and I went under the video tools edit button here and I chose my duration to be um, anywhere from four to five seconds. For this particular video, I'm gonna choose five seconds, um, but it depends on how long your songs are and the number of pictures that you're going to have in your slideshow. Now that I have all of my pictures in the correct order and the duration of them each for five seconds, I'm going to go ahead and add music under the home tab and I will click add music. I'm going to choose from my PC because I have the music stored on my desktop and then I will go ahead and I can choose all of the songs in this folder or I can choose one. I'm going to choose them all and it will insert them in the order that I have selected them. You can see that they're inserted here under each of the pictures It shows a little green um, kind of bar graph here for the recording. And here you can see where the first song ends and the second song starts. Once I have the music inserted, I can go ahead and I can select each song by holding the shift key and clicking on that green bar. And if I put a little kind of a green box around it, if I want both of them, I will hold shift and it will select both songs. I'm going to go the, to the music tools tab under options here, and I'm going to choose the fade in to be slow and the fade out to be slow for all of the songs that are going to appear in the slideshow so that it kind of makes the music a little bit slower and more quiet at the beginning and ending of the song. The next thing that I want to do is I can change the start time or start point of each of these songs and the ending point. For the second song, I'm going to eliminate part of the beginning. It counts down and you can hear the, the music, musician saying three, two, one, and I want to eliminate that part of the song. And I know that the start point needs to be 2.94 seconds. So I'm just going to go ahead and type that in and change the start point. And you can see that it just slides over and it eliminates that part of the song. I also want to eliminate this ending part of this song. Um, it's just some blank recording space. There's nothing there. The song stops at this last green bar here. 
So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to move the second song. I'm going to just slide it over so that it kind of butts up here with that song. And then you can kind of see that they start and stop here at this point. And it's actually kind of a perfect ending stopping point because we're starting a new picture here. So I think that will work out perfectly. Another thing that Windows Movie Maker lets me do is add a title slide. I can do that by going to the Home tab and clicking on the Title button. I can change the text that appears on the slide. And then I can change the style of the font by choosing any font that I have installed on my computer. I can also cha change the size of the font. I can stretch the text box and I can center it on the slide. If I'd like the font to be outlined, I can choose the size of the outline and the color of the outline. I can also choose how I wish for the text to appear on the slide. I'm actually going to choose the spinning one here. I'll show you what that looks like in the preview. Now Windows Movie Maker doesn't give me very many options for formatting the title slide. It doesn't give me an option to insert any clip art. So I chose not to use the title slide in Windows Movie Maker. I actually created my own title slide in PowerPoint. I changed the dimensions of the slide in PowerPoint to seven inches wide by four inches high. And then I just went ahead and I designed the slide how I wanted it to look. I saved that slide as a picture. So I'm going to insert that picture now into Movie Maker. Drag that back to the beginning. This picture right now does not have any animation set up. So I'm going to click on the picture. I'm going to go to the Video Tools Edit tab. I'm going to change the duration of the slide to 10.5 seconds. So it appears just a bit longer than the rest of them. And then I'm going to go to the Animations tab and I'm going to choose this Flip In One. I'll show you a preview. Now that I have my title slide all set, I'm going to insert a credit slide by going to the Home tab and clicking on the Credits button. I'm going to choose the Starring option. This option gives you the ability to add your students' names at the end of your slideshow. So I'm just going to type in some names here. Once I have all my names set, I can go ahead and I can change the font, the style of the font. I'm just going to choose the simple font that I have installed on my computer. And I'm going to change the size of the font. Now that my text is set, I'm going to choose how I want my text to appear on the slide. I'm going to have it scroll up from the bottom like it would in, at the end of a movie. Now that I'm finished with my credit slide, the last thing that I need to do is save my movie. I'm going to go to the Home tab and click on Save Movie here on the right hand side. I'm choosing for high definition display because I'm going to be converting these to a DVD later in part two. I can go ahead and I can name my video. And now that it's saving, it will take just a bit for it to save. So at this time, I'd like to say thank you so much for tuning in. If you would like to see how I convert this into a DVD that will play inside most DVD players, stay tuned for part two. I hope you all had a fantastic school year with your kiddos, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.